Tim and I both earned 70.3 World Championship slots that took us to South Africa. Trip of a lifetime. When we went to South Africa and raced world-class caliber athletes on a world-class course in a beautiful country, I don't think that thought has left our mind that we want to do this again. And even though that's been a year and a half ago, we're still hungry. Got the official email this morning, Sunday, May 31st, that Lubbock 70.3 is officially a go. And we thought we were gonna have a full slate of racing. I'm sure everybody thought they were gonna have a whole lot of things <laughs> as 2020 got off to a start. Oh, I'm excited. I'm ready to race, you know. I think we've had almost six races Canceled, postponed, rescheduled in this time period. Tiff and I both earned 70.3 World Championship slots that took us to South Africa. Trip of a lifetime. When we went to South Africa and raced world-class caliber athletes on a world-class course in a beautiful country, I don't think that thought has left our mind that we want to do this again. So, you know, we'll take our precautions, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get back out there. Yeah, I loved it last year. I didn't make it off the bike course. It didn't take me out, it took my bike out. So there was no crash involved or anything like that. When I first started noticing the wobble, I thought maybe, I thought my nutrition was already Wow. I thought it was me. And luckily there was a bike tech at the bottom where the aid station was, so I had him look at it. He tightened a couple things and sent me on my way and <clears throat> I never made it past the aid station. I had to turn back around. Last year Lubbock was my best race, I think ever. I had a solid bike. I don't remember the time. I know there was an eight minute delay in there. Checking on Caitlin and offering her my bike so she could finish the race thinking she would have a chance to qualify for Worlds in France last year. Nonetheless, I got back on the bike. I finished and still had my best bike time. We got on the run and it was hot. There was little shade but it was so effortless. Just remember just being so zoned. I think part of it at Lubbock last year, I was angry. I was angry at the luck that Caitlin had, the bad luck of her bike breaking, and knowing that the both of us had gone into that race in top condition. Other than Worlds in South Africa, I don't think we'd ever been in perfect shape, perfect training plan, ready to go. And, and that was Lubbock in 2019. 
I'm going to definitely make sure to tell the bike mechanic to make sure it is fast enough to get us a world 70.3 qualification slot because as it stands now, of course things could change. Lubbock's going to be our last chance to qualify for New Zealand World Championship, which has actually been postponed. It was scheduled for November of this year. But we want to go to New Zealand. We love doing racecations. A lot of life has happened. A lot of pandemic has happened. And we're doing what we can. I do have a plan. It's going to be tough. But Ironman and 70.3 is never easy. And you put in the work. And the race day is your reward. Still shooting for it. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna let down. I'm gonna keep driving on. I'm gonna race mighty, train mighty, race with zeal. Hopefully, be thinking about planning a trip halfway around the world again to do a race in a beautiful country. Done. You know, my wife's got a plan. She's always got a plan. So we'll just stick with it. 